Welcome back everybody, it's time for our second WPC series for today. We have got ourselves a best of two, it's time for Titan vs. Orenda. I'm Gods and we joined today once again by my Malaysian brother. It is going to be Winter. Are you still with me, Winter? Yep, I'm here. Bye, buddy. How was your dinner? Good. Okay, I'm ready to rock now. Ready to rock? Well, I'm ready to roll and we're ready to jump ourselves into the draft for our next game of today. Titan vs. Orenda. I didn't get to see a render the other day, but unknown team, as far as I know, do you recognize any of these names, or is this all unknowns to you as well? No, I haven't seen any of them before. Okay, well, uh, this will be a new experience for both of us. As for Titan, we obviously know these two teams very well. You know them uh, incredibly well as their former teammates of yours, and a team you've versed numerous, numerous times. So, uh, the favorites coming into this match, I'd say, although they are on foreign soil and in a Unfamiliar, ter unfamiliar territory. Also, just versing a team they're not familiar with makes it kind of hard to know what to play, what to pick, what to ban, etc. Yeah, it's going to be difficult since they don't know their... I think they played only two... How many games have, have they played? Only two matches? They played two WP. matches. They beat um, they beat CIS and then they lost their most recent series to Dreamtime. Huh. That's so. only four games, so not a lot of intel info to work yeah. with. But... Well... The intel they can get is Orenda actually went for like a quad lane kind of strategy. They went for this really weird like level one Roshan and then like five four men push right off the bat at like bottom lane. Like they push down really fast towers. So if Titans saw the games, they'll know at least that Orenda like to do something really cheesy uh, if they can get their hands on certain heroes. Hmm. Maybe you will see a Death Prophet, Death Prophet Shadow Shaman. <laughs> yeah, that's the, I mean that's the kind of strategies Orenda's been doing uh, with the level one Roshan, but they. When they beat CIS, these guys were, like, jumping up in their chairs and so excited that they'd just beaten, like, a legit team. Even though, I mean, CIS not a very well-known team, but uh, at least a team that they were not expected to be beating. Yeah, but the cheesy hero at the moment is on Titan's side. Okay. Yep. Mm. They must have a plan, right? You give away Lycan. <laughs> yeah. <I'll... laughs> they banned Lone Droid. What I mean, KYXY's Lone Druid is good, but that's not a hero that Titan play at all. That's a weird band. Yeah. Lycan is like an improvement of a Lone Druid. They do sort of the same thing, but Lycan needs less skill and it's much more efficient than Lone Druid in the early stage. Yeah, I this that Lone Druid band confuses me. Um, but hey, there we go, <laughs> Shadow Shaman, Invoker. They've got okay. themselves the makings of a good mid-game push threat. Uh, I need to see that Death Prophet. It was like a very long time ago where everyone was picking Shaman and Death Prophet together and sometimes occasionally teams would add an Undying to it. It's like a, a zone where you can't enter. There's a tombstone, there's a there's Serpent Wards and there's the, there's the ultimate of the Death Prophet. And sometimes I, I, I even prefer the Pugna in the mix of things. You have the Ward, the Pugna Ward as well. Yeah. Well, Pugna, not just the ward, the, the, the Nether Blast as well, good for, for, for pushing. Yeah, it's so good against uh, Lycan since you can avoid a lot of the physical DPS that Lycan's going to dish out. You can protect your team with the Decrepify. Alright, let's, let's see it, Arenda. Um, but as for, yeah, as for Arenda, we don't know much about them. They've got Luffy, who's going to be their drafter. They've got ZYF, Leonly, 290, and Yi. Mostly unknown players for at least us, the viewers. Titan get up an Enchantress, so they want to get some early game presence. Not to mention, like, their pushing power is also pretty scary right now between a Lycan and an Enchantress. So they can take very early towers. And Orenda has a good mid-game push, but their actual laning stage is really weak. Yeah, and Enchantress is a hero, like, if you pick either Enchantress or Chen with the Lycan, you're also protecting the early game of the Lycan, since it's, like, one of the true weakness of Lycan is his laning phase early on. He doesn't deal too much of damage in the lane and yep. doesn't have any control. So he's weakest at that point, but if you pick an Enchantress or a Chen, you sort of protect the Lycan too. And if he has that good laning stage, he he becomes useful before like an Invoker or Shadow Shaman. Snowball. Does. He just snowballs yeah. faster than anyone. You get like a, what, four or five minute Vlads and then you're just pushing towers with such ease. Yeah, the, the Vlads and... Recently, uh, I've seen teams, they seen... Teams have been prioritizing getting the Howl more than his passive, and you just assist your team in gankings actually early on with the Howl instead of having the passive. Yeah. It's 80 damage at level 4, it's a huge load of damage. Is it 80? Hey, okay, maybe it's not 80, I think. It's 50. Oh, 50. Sorry. Mm. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. 
And the other day we were playing at a LAN as well. Uh, I don't know if you heard the Logitech LAN. Uh, Arrow Gaming actually, they ran Lycan Solo Mid and they were running the wolves around the map to gank. Huh? He was sending, he was sending, he was Solo Mid Lycan and he was sending his summons to the bottom lane. Whenever his team was going into a gang, it's invasive and you can't see and he, he maxed his howl over his passive as well. He okay. just turned on his howl and the wolf was just starting to right click and it was actually a lot of damage. That sounds... Sounds pretty, uh, in- yeah, it sounds like an interesting strat. We've seen quite a bit more like in mid, at least uh, the, some of the Western teams, most notably e- EG with Artesia running a lot of like in mid. Um, the EG versus Dog, the best of three in style, I saw a lot of like in mid. Now, if you have actually a favorable matchup, he's actually pretty pretty good hero to go solo mid since he, have a lot of, uh, he has a lot of damage. It's yeah. always uh, it's easy for him to last hit in the lane. And as Bottle's as quite good on him. Like you can You can easily get away with the Bottle as well. Uh-huh. Well, he's actually a pretty flexible hero, to be honest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Well. The more teams experiment with him, the more ways you find that there are always different ways to play different types of situations with that hero. But at the moment, Titan, they have the Enchantress and Lycan, so the Lycan can basically just farm in the safe lane fairly easily with the protection of the Enchantress. There's no need for him to go middle against the Invoker. <laughs> That's yeah, not a, a fun matchup in general, so... Yeah, i uh, probably see him just in the safe lane. As for Titan, well... Still pick up some kind of a safe lane here for Yamate. They haven't got their offlaner. Centaur actually got banned out, so they used Centaur both the two games in their opening series against CIS and Orenda. Maybe doing some of their homework, maybe just not wanting to verse the Centaur, they do ban it out. Yeah, and Naga Siren is actually still not banned out. Orenda can actually go for the red. The red Dotto. Naga Siren is actually a good counter towards Lycan because of the Ensnare and the Song of the Siren. It's actually pretty useful against the Lycan. You know what hero um, EG and Dog were using to kind of Lycan? The Trium Protector. Trium. Yeah, yeah Trium Protector because the Disable, Long Disable, that goes through BKB. Yep. No, it, it seems, and also the the Living Armor against Towers is always nice. Yeah, he's, he's the Carpenter. Like when, uh, who was the guy? The Thailand caster he was talking about... Uh, he was talking about Trian being the carpenter when Lycan was breaking the towers. It was very funny. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Elder Titan. We don't get to see much Elder Titan these days, but uh, looks like Titan going to pick it up probably for the offlane for Ohio. And it gives a lot of damage to the Lycan too. And the second thing it does is he defends and push out lanes so the Lycan can have space they are in another lane to down the tower. Since they are against a sh- Shadow Shaman, they need some form of defensive capability to push push wave of creeps out so the Shaman doesn't have uh, that easy of a time pushing down your tier 1 towers early game. Yep. yep. Alrighty. Well, uh, as for uh, as for Aranda, they're going to have to commit now. Do they go all in with the push? Do they look to get them- themselves a more balanced lineup with a proper carry? They can just pick up their other support here. They've got the Rubik for now as their first support. Not that many big spells for Rubik to steal, um, at least out of these first three picks. Like, stealing an Astral Spirit doesn't really matter because you don't get the yeah. aura. So... Hmm. Not very useful, uh, any useful spells for him, but Rubik is like a good partner for a Shaman to be paired with since you need someone to initiate before the Shaman goes in. Yeah, it's yeah, still okay if he, does, if he doesn't have any good spells to steal, but Orenda is going for some of... Th- defensive capabilities of their own with the Chakram from the Timbersaw and well, Timbersaw is actually really he's gonna lane really well if Titan wants to do Elder Titan solo mid or Elder Titan off lane regardless they can go for a tri lane if they want Rubik Shaman to contest the Lycan tri lane and Timbersaw will have a good lane against regardless the yeah. Elder Titan or anyone else yeah okay well uh, yeah I, we don't get to see much Timbersaw either yeah, he's disappeared <laughs> Timbersaw and Elder Titan have both disappeared these used to be like these two heroes in Clockwork were the only like three offlane heroes you ever saw for a long while. It was uh, yeah, Daxia. yeah, Daxia well. well, yeah, Dax. Well, after Daxia disappeared, these three were still around, I guess. But yeah, Daxia was was still there. But yeah, Timbersaw making a reappearance. Elder Titan makes a reappearance. Titan pick up their other support, which is going to be a lion, so they get some good lockdown uh, to help out the Lycan in lane and just a, a solid all around support hero. Uh, the Lion is going to be uh, very just a very versatile topic here for them. There's a lot of uh, things he can fit into, but having the Lion there means the Rubik will finally have something useful to steal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, any spell that the Lion has is useful. Oh, maybe not Mana Drain, but yeah, the other three spells are very useful. 
Well, uh, last few picks for these two teams, and uh, Titan need themselves a mid here. It looks like a random most likely want to get some kind of a safe lane carry, unless they do a safe lane invoker, which is Razor? always possible. They're banning out Razor. Do you think you only most of the time you do it because you mm. want to pick OD, and OD doesn't have a lane matchup, uh, a laning opponent that can actually okay. crush OD. That's that's true. The other hero, well, the other hero Titan will run and ran last game is Viper. Viper's still in the pool, and that's not a bad oh, choice yeah. for your mid lane. Yeah, Viper is good against OD too. If yeah. they want, if Orenda want to pick something like that, because they need some sort of a very hard carry right now. Their lineup lacks, or they can just go for a lineup that does not have a carry. Everyone is a semi utility hero. Yep. And they don't. I guess Elder Times is a mech buyer, so they don't necessarily need to pick Viper for the mech buying capability, uh -huh. but. It's still definitely definitely a decent they, pick here. They they might just use something that creates space as well. Yeah. Elder Titan and another space creating hero. Maybe oh a Puck is actually a really good choice for them. Uh, Puck and Lycan. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Still but, in the pool and Orenda, if they want to contest the trial lane, they can maybe do it with uh maybe a Potem with a Rubik and a Shaman. And the rest of the the solo lanes have a quite a good time against their, their matchups. If it's going to be an Invoker versus Puck and Timbersaw against Elder Titan, both of the solo lanes would be in favor of Orenda. Okay. Yeah. Well, at the same time, it depends what their tr offensive trial is. Because Shadow Shaman's not a good hero for that offensive trial lane. Yeah, true. So they need to get a really strong kind of yeah, third hero if for they, it. Yeah, if they pick like very semi-utility heroes, they must have a good reason <laughs> to not sniper. contest the Lycan's lane. Are they going to do okay. Sniper mid, or do you think he's in the tri lane? Because I think he does better mid than in tri lane. He definitely does better mid in than compared in the tri lane, but... Oh, this is... This means that they are going to lose towers very quick. They can't really defend their towers early before Ch Timber Sarge uh, Chakram. Unusual choice, that's for sure. I'm glad we get to see a couple snipers today. It's a bit of fun, that's for sure. But I, I'm thinking if they want to put the sniper middle, it will most likely mean they're going to try lane aggressively. Yeah. Oh, well, this is not a this is not a fun matchup for sniper. <laughs> <laughs> if it is going to be mid, uh, well, you guys you know, on stream. Do you know what? by any chance who's the solo mid player for their team? I. You know, it would have popped up because they introduced the players on the Chinese stream and said what role they play, but I wasn't oh, watching. Lion, Lion Lee is the support player, but he's picked up the Rubik, so that goes without saying. So I'm not sure if it's 290 or ZYF. That I uh, do not know. I, I, I'm, I'm checking. I think it's 290. Wait, one. I'm checking one of the games. He was the one playing the Ember solo mid. Let me know what you think. Yeah, he's the solo mid player, 290. So probably a... Oh, do you even go offensive trial with a sniper? Does that work? Or uh, I have not seen that before. But I don't know <laughs> if it'll work. I... Probably just a safe lane sniper, but safe lane sniper against Lycan and Enchantress. Your towers are going to just disappear. Yeah, I am i don't know about the safe lane sniper. We'll see how maybe it works out here. Maybe, but Maybe they contest with an exalt invoker. I am not, yeah. I'm not sure what they want to do, but contesting is like something they... Really have to do. They can't just trade farm with a Lycan without accomplishing something. Well, they made this offensive trial lane as well. That's the. I mean, they they could yeah, just move... exalt invoke exalt with uh, aggressive trial lane. I think that could work for them. Yeah. Well, we'll uh, introduce our two teams here. We're going to start with Orenda. They're over on the Dire side. It's going to be Lion Lily, Lion Lee playing the Rubik. We've got Zyf on the Sniper. We've got Yi playing the Shadow Shaman. Looks like they may be going for an offensive trial lane with Luffy playing the Timbersaw in the safe lane, and then finally. Invoker 290. Uh, well, maybe he's going safe lane with Timbersaw mid. They've got options available to them, depending on what they want to do. Yeah, and on the Raiden side, we have Titan from Malaysia. Ohio playing the Elder Titan. Net will be handling the Lion. And Axting is actually... They're actually going to rotate away towards top, it seems. Playing the Enchantress. On the on the two lanes, we have uh, Yamate playing the Co-op. And lastly, we have KOXY on the safe lane this time with the Lycan. Yeah, this wow. is actually the good thing of... And chances, if you feel you're not comfortable contesting the lane, then you can just run around and create pressure elsewhere. Yeah. Well, it looks like, yeah, Lion and Enchantress will just be roaming around here. Then something that Extinct does really well, like, and just Titan in general, like, even when they're back playing as uh, at TI3 with, as Maybe Orange, they, they dominate the early game. They go for a lot of roaming, they get a lot of early kills, and very rarely yeah. at 10 minutes will they be behind. They are, like... I think everyone said that they are the best team for the first 15 minutes, even at TI2. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> like, if 
10, 15 minutes in, 90% plus of their games, they're ahead because they've got lots of early ganks, lots of early rotations. Their supports yeah, just gank so well. Lane dominating heroes and matchup as well. Yeah. We prioritize a lot on, during TI2, we prioritize a lot on picking matchups that just basically win out, flat win out the one versus one lane. Yeah. Well, uh, and if we'll you look see. at Nat, he actually started with boots, so they're going to be very aggressive early on. Maybe oh, yeah. even. Mm, but there's no early bottle coming up from this hero invoker, so there won't be. The chances of sniping any uh, early career won't be that likely this game. Yeah, and he'll see the items from Invoker and realize it's not going to happen, but uh, the problem is the, the Invoker got a good creep block off, which means getting a kill early may be tricky. Oh, um, yeah, actually, maybe too good. It goes to the tower, so... Uh, this see. position is difficult. The tower is going to... You would want to push the corp to push the lane and then dive him at the tower, but with this happening, it's not going to be possible for oh. the next minute. Invoker's going to push it out now, because, he, oh. because his wave was at the tower. Oh no, he's actually in a dangerous spot that, now. Yeah, that was a risky Shadow Strike here. Well, Invoker may still go down. Here comes your line from behind. He's got a Hex as well, and this is going to be an easy kill for Titan. First Blood gets picked up. Not, not going to go to any one here. It gets split uh, he, between all three. He didn't expect He didn't expect the gank, like, the supports, because they are, look at their ward here. You don't see the lion, the ward at the jungle here. You don't see the lion, and you don't see the enchanters. You have to know that they are, they are in your jungle instead of their own jungle. Yeah, that's that's a good point. And now they rotate top, so we could see this... Uh, this Timbersaw in a lot of trouble. There's a, no dire vision for this one. They've got an Ursa Clap and a Sentinel He's stun. dead again. He's dead. Yeah. There's a Hex for this one if they need it. They don't even need the Hex necessarily. I imagine Net will just use it anyways for good measure. Uh, uh, Luffy, he's going to well, wait to the last moment. Yeah. No no chance for this one. Ursa Clap there. Not even going to need the Sentinel stun. Luffy does a decent amount of damage with the Whirling Death. Gets a higher low, but not any chance of escaping that. Nicely played. Titan, the kings of the early game. Early game rotations, and they get two early kills here. Uh, this is actually really good for them already. They can even just, if they want to, just push down the tier one at top right now. Yeah. And they can just yeah, or kill them again. Even like they've got so many different options. Uh, a lot of options. The Lycan is a hero. Like he's a carry that if he suffers early game, it doesn't really damage him as much as you compare to uh, anti mage suffering early game or Mothling suffering early game. He's just going to be able to catch up so quickly with the levels. When he gets levels, he farms really quick. He doesn't need any big items. Like an ant you yeah. don't really start doing well to get battle free for. Like an all you need is your Vlads. Like, then you're good. <laughs> yeah. Vlads boots. That's a 2k gold item, so. <laughs> Supports are rotating right now for Orenda. Mm. They need to just. They need to gank this corp. They need to get this kill. It's very important for them to at least make sure they are still in contest. They're still able to contest the middle game. If they don't get this kill and they get killed against the Lion and the Enchantress, their whole early game will collapse with the Lycan getting a lot of space after this. Yeah, well, uh, Extinct gets himself a Wild Wing. He wants something better than that. Unfortunately, uh, this is not a proper uh, full, full camp here waiting for him. Oh, oh he no, he reveals himself. He reveals Big him. mistake coming in. The smoke was about to expire anyway, so maybe not the end uh, of the world. But that was a huge victory for Titan. They yeah. didn't get caught by that smoke, and they're going to see exactly the positions of the supports. And right now, you see KYXY. He, the moment he saw the supports, he's going to be having time to farm at bottom. Yep, and Ohio, he's uh, rotated off the top lane. He's actually hit level 4, so a level 2 Astral Spirit with level 2 Natural Order is actually going to do a oh, lot of doing, damage here. They're doing this again. Ohio's coming oh, in for yeah. the gank. Look, yeah, it looks like they may catch up Yihi. He's so slow here on the Shadow Shaman. Taking a bit of damage here. Astral Spirit uh, will go they, flying through, but... They did this okay. exact same rotation the last game. Do you remember the early game? Ohio joined the supports to yeah. run into the jungle to make the first gank. Uh, but he was successful against the jungling axe that time. Well, now we look, head back towards top lane, and this time Timbersaw needs to be ca fairly careful. He's trading blows with a high, high axe getting the worst for wear for this one, Luffy. One Timber Chain and a Whirling Death can get this kill, but getting a Timber Chain, not going to be possible, it looks like. But here come the two supports from behind. Oh, I think Luffy's just dead. He's there's, dead. <laughs> there's no way out. Yeah. Hex, clap, impale if you need it. They'll use it just for good measure, and... Well, he'll get the Timber Chain off. Almost kills oh. the... Well, kills X. Oh, he actually kills him off. Okay, that was... He he had his heal. He didn't turn his heal on, but I, I think he didn't expect to die there. <laughs> no, but I think they thought they thought they'd kill him in the uh, disable, like in the the chain stun, but not quite the damage. Just that one point in reactive armor, given that extra bit of survivability. Yeah, it was also because one point in reactive armor, he had more points in the nuke. That's why he was able to get the kill on the enchantress. Yeah. Yeah. If he had two points in reactive armor, he doesn't get the kill on the enchantress. That's true. That's true. Oh, bottom lane, Lycan. Is Double damage get... Rubik, but that's uh, this Lycan's fine. He's so tanky. <laughs> yeah. 
Lycan's e easy peasy. He's not too fussed about that one. But even with the Enchantress going down the top lane, it still feels like Titan of the Ones with just much better control right now. Doing well in most of these lanes. Queen of Pain slightly ahead on CS at mid. Well, Cypress actually really farmed. He's got 31 CS, so maybe that's that's on time. Yeah, he, he had the early protection, and he's just going to get that early start. But even if it's the early start, I'm not sure whether... I don't think he's going to be strong enough to fight the Lycan. The Lycan will still come online faster than the Sniper. Yeah. And middle lane. Here comes the three men. Once again, Ohio is joining up the smoke party. Why not? <laughs> Make these you skills that little bit easier. Invoker, Man, if he pushes out... There's no one at top lane. This, this is actually very obvious. Yeah, he's going all the way around from behind. The TP coming in, but I think Arenda's 290 is going to go down oh, regardless. Yamate. Yeah, he gets, he gets brought down. He blinked in, I imagine. And it was on cooldown. Lily Pie. Oh, well, oh, sorry, Lion Lion Lily. I'm not sure where that one came from. He's in trouble under the tier 1 tower. As, uh, looks like Lily will make his way out of there and he'll be okay. It probably actually means Lee only. His name is L-I-I and only, but he didn't space. Lee only? Yeah, I think that's what it means. I'm not sure though. You call him Lee? <laughs> Lee L -double only. L-double-I? Yeah, L-double-I, Lee. Or, okay. yeah. We'll call him Lee then. <laughs> I like that, Lee's you? the boys version, Lily's the, the girl version. <laughs> yeah, but mm. that blinking was so costly. It was a four-man gank and they still got it out one for one because of cold snap. And top lane, Shaman is going to try to come behind, but the ward actually spotted his rotation. Yeah. Not gonna get they are going to rotate up. the Timbersaw to bottom and Sniper to the safe lane now. Oh, there's a Telekinesis on mid lane, Yamate. Forced to blink his way out of there. Snap. He's, oh, he's, he's dead. Oh, maybe not. He dodges the Sunstrike. One more right click. That'll finish him off. Just gets the kill there. Return gate coming from net. Not going to do too much. Just the defensive impale. That's oh, a... This is actually looking really bad for the Corp. The start of the yeah. Corp is actually going to hurt his progress. His mid-game strength a lot. That too, he's... he's not going to be able to snowball that much. Looking at the CS chart, it, Arenda are dominating right now. 50 yeah. CS on Sniper. The highest for the Radiant team is 23 on the Queen of Pain. Yeah, the reason is because they were giving away the kills, so if they were rotating and pressuring the towers, then maybe that wouldn't have happened. That's why I'm not very sure why they actually the first smoke three heroes towards middle. I didn't know why they wanted to just kill the invoker so badly. They could have just pressured the tier 1 at top and just get two creeps with the enchantress and skip the creeps behind and just down the tier 1. There was no way Orenda could have defended the first tier 1 push. Luffy almost got a kill at bottom line. He missed the timber chain, unfortunately. Otherwise, he may have got a kill on KYXY. <laughs> <laughs> Came pretty close, but... Hey, Rex, will be yeah, okay? He's, he's actually gonna be so annoying for the Lycan to lay the games, actually. Yeah. Uh, he uses the most, he's actually out of mana for the most part, Dyer's so that makes it a bit harder to stay in this lane, attack. or at least to pressure KYXY. And uh, the Radiant yeah, supports are rotating bottom. Probably he's just gonna go back to base. That's, it's too risky for him to stay here without mana, and just, just doing no. fine on all their lanes. They're farming middle. They're farming middle quite smoothly, top as well, so there's no no reason for the t Timber Sword to just try to take the risk to pressure the Lycan at the bottom lane. Yep. Well, and Invoker going for that Midas build, he's just a couple hundred gold away from it, so... That's pretty nice for him, and uh, yeah, like you say, all three lanes through render, they're farming well. Your Queen of Pain is getting some CS, your Lycan's getting some, uh, your Elder Titan's getting very little, and then your Enchantress getting a, a little bit as well in the it, jungle. But it, come, it comes down to the way they played the situation just now. The, the two smoke gangs with the like, uh, with the Elder Titan, sorry. Yep. Otherwise, I don't think they would have been that far behind, and they would have even broken the tier one at top. But they tried to kill, and they didn't get the kill. Elder Titan didn't need to leave the lane because he had a one v one matchup. Like he had oh, a bottom lane. He had an actual lane. Point. Okay, why well, Oh, misses the timber chain. Luffy now in trouble. He's gonna get chain stunned here. The impale hex, and uh, Lycan just gets the kill there. Gets brought very oh, low. Sunstrike sun off the map. Oh, middle, the middle lane. Oh wow. Is this, is this gonna be? It looks like a dead Lee. He's on the run here. Invoker gonna help, kind of pr provide some cover for him as the the, the retreat's still there. He walks directly into Ohio though. He didn't have any way really to escape from him. Looks like Queen of Pain, Yamate, still nearby him with 290 getting brought down low by this Astral Spirit. Oh, 290 may go dead. down here. Back comes Yamate. He's got a Sonic Wave if he needs it. Not going to need it. Blink Scream. It's a kill on Yamate. His uh, first kill of the game and a very important one. Mm, Sniper is still farming, still farming really well. But they gave away a kill to the Lycan, so he's going to have that extra level experience and goal boost. Very, that's going to help him attack. get towards his crucial levels. And Well, he actually didn't skill how... At all. Huh. 
Interesting. I think one point one point in Hull is just so good. Yeah. Early game. Most of the time I see like the, the four one one build and you get that first point of how like at right off the bat, like level one or level two. Maybe level two, because you often want the lichen walls for scouting to start off. Yeah, but sometimes it's uh I, I think at level one your best spell is how actually at level one. It depends. I've seen, like, especially on the Radiant side, I think Lycans get their wolves a lot for scouting. Like, if you want to scout out Roshan at level 1, if you want to scout out Rune. The level 1 yeah, scouting is pretty useful. Oh, bottom lane. Uh, net and there's is a finger of this. death. Yeah, this is just an easy kill. Yeah, Impel to start things off. There'll be a Hexer and, and or a finger here. Oh, it's Actually, just a mana. They need that Sentinel stun. He's, oh, he's not going to get it. Oh. Turning this oh, fight look around. At the damage. Yeah. Wow. Enchantress goes down. Lion almost goes oh, down as well. Oh, yeah. oh, the timber chain missed. I, that's like the, oh. th the third or fourth timber chain I've seen him miss, miss this game. He, he got the good play off before that. He timber chain to escape and he dropped the chakra before he went out. And that dealt so much damage with the sunstrike, but after that he missed the. He got the hard one, but he missed the easy one. Yeah. I. I had, that gank should not have failed though. Like I guess they couldn't get the center, the center yeah, in range for the stun. He, the net went a bit too early. The center couldn't get the storm off. Yeah. Well, this Timbersaw is having a great time here. He's building towards a mech for the team, and uh, he'll just wander his way back. As, uh, middle tower catch a, is under another attack. look at that play. I mean, you mentioned that he gets the Shakram off just before he's about to, before well during the timber chain. So uh, yeah, you got it doing play? that. Yeah. Yeah, throws it mid timber chain. That's really, really good, and that, that with the sunstrike just cleans up. Yeah, sometimes if you mistime it, your chakram would not come out until you <laughs> complete your timber chain. So you have to time it perfectly. So that was the difficult one, but the easy one he missed. Well, uh, where we stand, it's seven Dyer's kills to four times advantage. But uh, the actual gold, I don't imagine, is in their advantage. Mm. Nope, they're behind by about fifteen hundred gold. The experience five hundred in the favor of Arenda. You can see yeah, this CS chart, top three, all red heroes, all dire heroes, Arenda. Here comes the Vlads for the Lycan. This is going to speed up his farm by so much. Not to mention at least allows him to farm hey, as well. I don't which... understand why he's here at top. Like, I would rather him have the safe lane. Or uh, if he dies here, Rubik has Blink. Yeah, Dyer's Rubik's right behind him. KYXY does have attack. the shapeshift, but there's an assassinate as well. The, the Shadow die, Shaman's yeah. getting really low. These, these wolves actually hurt. Shadow Shaman has to run. Yimei just straight up go down. These wolves still chasing, and actually Sniper, oh. not going to help him. Queen of Pain drops a Sonic Wave, that's going to be the Sniper, possibly dead. Micro, your wolf, hit the Sniper just once! My once camera. he gets the kill, KYXY, almost not able to get the kill there. He kind of missed Micro for a second, but... Whew, they get the Sniper. Timbersaw, meanwhile, dying at bottom lane. That was yeah, the uh, Finger that. of Death being used. Bottom tower is under this, time, this time they got him. <laughs> just tower is under barely. Attack. Oh, yeah, with, but the Timbersaw, the, I, with Timbersaw we didn't see. Yeah, yeah. This time yeah, they did the Timbersaw. But the rotation really built KYXY out. And not to mention, the wolves were actually killing the Shaman already before that. Dyer's Those wolves hurt so much. Not to The thing that I feel Dyer's like, that's the one thing I'd like to see nerfed about the uh, Lycan, is his, his the wolves' movement speed. They run so fast. Oh, the Timbersaw. He's gonna go down again. Did he, did he TP into that one? Yeah, he keep it in, but he just walked up to that. Oh, go snap, go snap, assassinate, but Max is gonna keep the Titan alive. Dyer's middle yep. tower is He's got under more attack. than enough HP to stay alive here, and... They, they tried to go in again with Sunstrike first Radiant's before the Timbersaw went in with attack. his spells, but it missed the Sunstrike. But Radiant's he still went in and he just died there. Fortified. And Arenda are looking for a tier 1 top tower. They've dropped the Serpent Ward tier. Queen of Pain gonna show up and uh, look to clear them off and... Hopefully uh, deny or at least keep this tower alive. It looks like the tower will be... Uh, getting down to deny range, but but uh, Yamate should get this deny off uh, after he, he got, puts it out the way. He wave. got quite some good XP from that as well. XP yeah. angle from the bots. And that is still as usual. Oh, he actually has a dagger. Okay, he's that rich. Radiance top tower. One zero six. Um, yeah. Ooh. Okay. So, uh, like in here, you mentioned it. The Vlads will accelerate his farm a bit, and KYXY hasn't Radiance even died as well, so he gets his medallion, attack. gets a clarity on himself just for some extra mana, so he's going to have very fast jungling now. Level 10, max wolves, max feral impulse. Radiant's bottom he's good tower to go. Is under attack. Yeah, he's going to be looking for sneaky Roshan probably after this, since he's on Dyer's the Dyer, uh, Radiant side. Attack. But Radiant's now Orenda's going to bring three heroes down attack. here with a smoke. Mm, it looks like they may walk into this Lycan, but Lion's there as they, well. He's got full mana sunstrike. all of a sudden. They have Sunstrike though. They can actually kill off the Lion if they catch him in a good spot. 
Yeah, he's got blink oh. down. He's going to blink forward, though. Impel going to be off the mark completely. Lycan drops the ultimate as well. Neck going to dodge the Sunstrike as he outruns it here. The first kill goes onto the Rubik. Lycan now on the run gets shackled oh, up. This will be KY. Actually, he's still alive. The Sonic Wave comes in for the Queen of Pain. Oh, the big mech as well. That gives a KYX with a nice little HP boost. They've killed off three. They'll get a fourth here with the Invoker going down. Absolute massacre in the bottom lane. Oh, they could have just killed the Lyca. He missed the Chakra. He didn't get his Chakra on. Oh, man. He missed quite a few spells that he was off. The Lyca was... The chakra. Oh, that Chakra and re-watching it. What a disaster. He, he, oh, was like shackled, he was like Shackle here and he threw his Chakra on there. And he tried to yeah. kill another hero, but it was a free kill. I think, that he, yeah, he assumed the, he assumed that it was going to be a dead Lycan regardless, but he needed the Chakram to kill him off. Dyer's bottom tower ah, greedy, that was greedy. Then after that, the mech was like, totally saved the day. Well, this, this Timbersaw has been uh, the kind of make or break hero for this team, and for the most part, uh, he's led to a, a few really bad fights. Let's, let's take another look at that fight, but boy, oh boy, are they going to be burning that they didn't kill off that Lycan. They had him locked down in the Shackles, and here's the Chakram. Completely, <laughs> he didn't even hit the other heroes. He was aiming for other heroes, and he doesn't even hit those other heroes. Maybe he was thinking that it will pass by the Lycan and yeah. the other heroes. In the he may have cast it before the shackles came out because the shackles. Ah, uh, yeah, true, true. Maybe. That's what I'm, I'm. I'm guessing he cast the chakram like before the the shackles was even used, but the shackles came out first, and then the chakram, uh, just after. So it looked really bad, but oh boy. Ah, uh, middle it, lane. They're gonna go on bad. the invoker. Finger of Death being used to secure that one, and another easy kill for Titan. 15 kills to 4. Started off like a pretty close game. I mean, looking at the CSs, Arenda were farming really well this game, but uh, it got quickly turned around as soon as the kills started piling up for Team Titan. Yeah, they got caught way too many times already, and the early blink on the Lion at 12 minutes, so well, that was just so much initiation from Titan. And Orenda can't really just... When they don't see the Lion on the map, it's so hard for them to push out lanes. This line's done a great job getting some good vision up. You look at this like mid lane observer ward. Uh, they had they had one at the bottom river as well, hopping out. Not too much right now in general, but uh, Titan have had good map control in their advantage. And yeah, and, and now Orenda is stuck in their base against a Lycan. Yes, and that's not a good sign. That means you're losing all your outer towers one by one. Oh, uh, middle lane, they're gonna wrap around here. Yeah, looks like Timbersaw may get jumped upon. Serpentmods into the Roshan pit. They want to go for this Roshan. I guess with the Ford Spirits, they can theoretically do this. But Dyer's here come Titan. They're going to scout out with the Astral fallen. Spirit. That'll force Arenda back. I think Arenda have to give up on this. Or do they... They're, they're torn. They've got the yeah, Ford Spirits. It's, they've got the Serpentmods. It's difficult. If they stay here, Lycan's going to break that tree. Yeah. The bait. Lycan's pushing the high ground. He doesn't care about this. He's got the Necro book up as well. Forces a TP Dyer's from the uh, Timbersaw. Is under attack. Timbersaw going to be in charge of defending. Meanwhile, the Roshan's still getting lower and lower. And... Yamate's in good position here. He's been spotted though. Cold snap to start things off. Yamate gets lifted up in the air. He gets hexed as well. Misplay from Yamate in the end. Roshan does get prevented, but Yamate getting spotted out there, and that's unfortunate for him. Oh, he's actually he's very far behind. Still from his Okita. Yeah, he's number five on the net worth chart. His line has the, almost the exact same net worth as him. That's a really bad sign. But good news is they have the Lycan, so they're still going to be able to take advantage of the position of the map right now. So open and Lycan, what with one mistake from Orenda, can just break the racks. Yep. Hello. Well, it's going to be the Necro book from 290 on the Invoker. We'll see uh, that Lycan, well, he's got a level 2 Necro book ready, so he's well ahead of this Invoker as far as Necro book levels go. Pulling ahead as far as net worth. He's number 1 now. I had to take yeah, him the sniper snipe. That's why that's why he doesn't need the early good start like him. Yeah. He got shut down so hard in lane, but suddenly he's number one. Sniper went for Manta style, like I don't I don't I, what do you think about this Manta style for Sniper? Uh it gives you I like the Yasha though, but I don't really like to complete it unless it's against uh Orchid sometimes early on or you need that extra HP to survive some sort of burst. Top lane. Wow. Yeah. Okay. okay. Can he get that the solo? That was a lot of damage. That wow, was a phase, lot of damage. Phase plus Manta style giving him uh, decent movement speed to escape. And it looks like a mech from the Timber Sword will keep him alive. There is a Telekinesis on the Lycan. He's still on the run here. Uh, the Shapeshift is going to be wearing Dyer's off soon. Shackles will come in and... Oh, he's dead. Yeah. He's dead. Can we go down? Cocky, cocky from KYXY. Ooh, that's really cocky. I was like... Well, can he even get this kill? <laughs> Oh, Timbersaw shows up bottom lane now to defend as well. Oh, there's a blink in with an impale. This will be a dead Timbersaw. They may use the finger of death. They will. And 
these two tower now getting chipped away at. Under attack. Uh, that was just great uh, map positioning by, by the supports of Titan. They know that Orenda is going to send supports down and they just they were just waiting and waiting and waiting. And whoever comes down dies. Yep. No finger of death now, so I think Orenda should be able to still defend this tier 2. They're teeping in, uh, looks like, yeah, Lee, and he's going to be just throwing a Fade Bolt, steals a Scream. Not the, not the worst spell, not the best spell. It's at least something to have up his disposal as far as giving some extra damage output. Radiance nah, but at the moment, I, I, I think that Titan just needs uh, to be more composed. They just need to push out the lanes without getting caught out. They don't need to take any risks like just now. Like yeah, what the well, Lycan did. That wasn't Titan taking risks, that was KYXY take, taking okay, risks. Okay, that was KYXY. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but um, no, KYXY almost has his Necro 3 and Roshan's still sitting below half HP. Oh, well, around half HP, just to actually regen its way back above, but... Um, that's something which uh, Arenda right now, unable to really commit to, and it may be Titan who, once they bring the life in with a Necro 3, he may go for himself. Sniper gets a Mask of Madness. I actually really uh, like this pickup. I like this. Me too, me yeah. too. This item is actually a very a very strong burst item. I, I feel like it's a bit underrated, but if you're just go if you're just behind or middle lane, if they want to go in. Blink impale, they're gonna catch out Lee here. He's gonna go down with the Queen of Pain blink in. The Chakram not Sound doing too much to help out, but the other thing the Mask of Madness gives, which is really important, is the movement speed. The movement speed boost is really oh, nice. Yamate's gonna get caught out here. Nice little flanker. They bring down Yamate to start things off. The impale gonna cancel the shackles, but it's too late here. Net now on the right. He's got four stuff and blink dagger. Assassinate going to go on through. Queen of Pain actually buying back, knowing that they can go Roshan. I think. I think he wants to stop the Roshan. That's why he buys back here. Yeah, probably. And Net used his smoke to dodge the snipe as well. Oh, nicely played. Net still uh, invis up in that smoke. Yamate has an actual invis rune. He can even go onto the high ground and scout things out here. Two ninety, poking around very close. Xing finished off the Observer and Yamate. Oh, lion can blink. Lion can blink. That's what they're waiting for, perhaps. Oh, are they not going to get this? Doesn't look like they're going to get this skill, at least not for the time being. Uh, he wasted the buyback for accomplish nothing now. Well, now, uh, yeah, exactly. Well, I guess maybe Orenda could have gone Roche. I, I don't think they would have, though, even with... Uh... Yeah, same. I, I felt like it was a difficult spot since they had the Shaman Wards outside the Roche pit. Net's been doing some really sneaky warding. He blinks into a nice little spot in the trees. He drops down Observe Ward just in the shop here to get some vision. Oh, he does yeah. reveal himself though. Attacks a Ford Spirit. Get yourself out of there. He's going to get oh, some strike. Oh, that hurts. Four stuff down. Yeah, that's, uh, he needed to do that. And uh, he just gets picked up by Queen of Paint. So that's going to go into the hands of Yamate. Yeah, this Observe Ward, I, I like it. Gives good vision. Uh, just for when they're coming in for Roshan to contest you. Yeah, it's also pretty good to see sometimes uh, if anyone is around here getting some items or, or the courier, then you can potentially try and kill the courier with an expensive item in it. <laughs> so after oh, that fight, um, oh. come on. Dead. <laughs> oh, this lion's getting so many kills and so much farm. Lion is ahead of Queen of Pain on net worth now. 6.7k to the 6.4k of even, Quap. It's not even funny. He's, he's actually almost close, near to the other titan as well. <laughs> yeah. This is like your AUI 2000 like farming support, except it's a lion. Lion is not really he's known farming, for being a farming, farming support. He's farming heroes. I mean, he's got seven assists still. It's not all last inning. He's going to come in for the Rubik now. It looks like, oh, Lee gets kept alive by the mech, but he's still going to go down eventually. One more right click, Queen of Pain. Maybe going to near the stream. His sunstroke oh, is going to be just blink oh, dodged here. <laughs> the mech yeah. is there from Ohio as well, and Yamate with a haste rune will maybe look to re-engage once he heals himself up using these bottle charges. My thanks. Let me ask you something. Do you like to get Scepter on Lion? <laughs> Have you tried it? No, I think it's... I think it's... Well... It's not that good, I don't think. We're gonna see actually Timbersaw at mid lane get silenced up. Uh, it, but if it works, it's actually very good. The main thing that seems good is it goes... The, the cooldown, I believe, that goes... That gets reduced as well. Yeah, Scepter uh, cooldown is 20 seconds. 20 seconds? Yeah, 20 seconds. That's pr that's to me like the actual AOE part of it. I think is pretty useless. Like I've I've only seen it once Daya's actually. Hit, someone hit an AOE finger of death, attack. hitting two it's, heroes. It's like uh, Kanka's bear suddenly with a crit. <laughs> yeah, it's such a small AOE. Like I, that that AOE finger thing is really not that good. The the damage increase and the cooldown decrease are what's best about the Aghanim scepter. Not to mention you get kind of tanky, but yeah, it gives you a lot of HP, but. Uh, it's actually 
the AO is not that uh, like you said, not that useful unless you really have someone like a Magnus or Enigma to set up that finger. <laughs> Queen of Pain now prodding Dyer's around the Dire Jungle. Is under attack. What do you think, Winter? Is the AoE Finger of Death any good? Uh, I don't. <laughs> I would rather have a use after, to be honest. Yeah. All right. It's good to. <laughs> good to hear. My, my, the Twitch chat seems to think Agonim's line, AoE AoE Finger is legit. But yeah, it, it is legit if you make it work. But how often does it work? <laughs> If you, yeah, exactly. It, it's just the the scenarios never really present themselves for it to work. It's like a one in maybe one in a million. Okay, not one in a million, but it's once in a blue moon it happens. Yeah. It wouldn't be a bad buy, but like you say, like items like a Yule Scepter would just be like so much nicer for the uh, just utility that you get from it. Or well, even get uh, even even an Ethereal Blade on Lion. A BKB is not a bad choice as well against this kind of a team. Like, I'd rather I'd rather you get a BKB than an Agonim Scepter. If you want to, like, Ag Scepter makes you tanky, but so does a BKB. Like, I would rather see him get BKB than Ag. Yeah. He Heaven's Helper Radiant's makes me tanky. Tower is yeah. under attack. Sanjin Yasha, man, that makes you tanky. Out of Tarask, yeah. let's oh, no, let's dream the, big. The Aoi <laughs> item, the Aoi item. The Rod, Rod of Atos. Atos. <laughs> the Rod of Aoi. I find that the best usage of that item is uh, to break Lincolns. Yeah, it's got such a good cast range. Because the range, yeah, the range. It's actually really good at taking away Lincolns. Yeah. No, that's a good point. It's much, it's much easier than four stuff by a huge margin. <laughs> and it's very spammable. It's got a long range, short cooldown. And, uh, yeah. No, I'd agree with that. Arenda, well, their current position down. 12 kills. They're uh, suddenly behind by 7.5k gold. The experience, even worse, 10k experience in Titan's favor. And Titan... They've got a BKB up on the Lycan, just needs to courier that one out. Queen of Pain, Orchid up, as well as 2k gold. This is that very poor Queen of Pain. Has, has managed to outfarm the Lion once again, that's the good news. <laughs> outfarm the Lion. Yeah. Phew! So that's, difficult a, that's a point of pride. Yeah, so difficult to outfarm a Lion, dude. Yeah. Lion picked up a gem. Does, I don't think gem oh, adds Rubik. to your net worth. Yeah. Is under attack. Um, easy kill. Queen of Pain's like, I'm Dyer's taking this one line. You've taken too many. Has fallen. <laughs> you could have taken it. You know, Lion hurt his net worth by buying this gem, because I don't th think gem contributes to your net worth at all. Actually, I think it does. It j he just lost his net worth when he Dyer's dropped the gem. He lost it because he passed it to attack. someone else, okay. I think. Yeah, that's right. No, no, it, it did. It, uh, Enchantress suddenly went up. So are they going to go for the high ground, push in nice blink, two here and pell into a sonic wave. Net taking a lot of damage, the assassin is going to come, it's going to get the kill on net it looks like. He doesn't manage to dodge it, but sniper going to pay for this one with his life. Four heroes dead, five back from the sniper, triple kill, going the way of Yamate. And Lycan needs to be careful, taking a lot of damage here. He's on the run, there's going to be a TP coming in. It's in base. He's going to oh go boy. down to this one. Yamate, he's popped his Aegis now. The chase is now on Exiting. Needs to be careful. The Sniper doing some nice right-click damage. Four stuff to the high ground. The Chakram damage with the Sniper. That's oh, a gemming drop. Alrighty. They, they took their fight without the BKB on the Lycan. He was in base all the way. And he was... still had 2.5k gold. That was like 7k... Uh, no, not 7k. 5k gold that they didn't use in the fight. Yeah. And their lead is like 7,000. So actually they took their fight with like a 2,000 gold advantage only. It was actually really deceiving because of that. Cool, cool. Well, Sniper had to buy back. That's the, the main loss there for a render. But but it's... They killed four, like three plus Aegis. So, and they lost, I think, two only the Sniper and the one support. Yep. yep. And uh, Yamate picks up an ultimate orb, so we'll see him go towards uh, some kind of a possibly hex side device. Or... Yeah, I think he goes Hex. He's not a very Lincoln's person. Same like Mushi. They don't like to get Lincoln's. Yeah. But yeah, they, that fight started really well for Titan, but the problem is they committed fully to it. Like, Lion and Queen of Pain blinking with an Impale, Sonic Wave killing off two I, heroes. They I thought it was okay if they committed with the BKB. If they had the BKB on the Lycan, they could do yeah. it. Yeah. Well, uh, at this point, Sniper is actually getting close to an MKB. If he finishes an MKB, he's going to start hitting hard and fast, so... This game's still not over, I feel, because Arenda actually has some good late-game potential with this Sniper. Unlike the last Sniper we saw where he just was not hitting for much damage, this one... He's a lot scarier looking. And he has alacrity too. <laughs> yeah. That's actually really scary. He's a real carry. Alacrity plus the, the aura from the Necrobook summons. That's actually pretty 
pretty useful to buff up the sniper too. And if Rubik steals like a howl, the sniper is actually gonna do a lot of damage. <laughs> it's not that difficult to get the howl, I think. He, there's it's, a good chance he might get the howl. It's only plus fifty damage, but yeah, I mean, I, I say only like it's still good, but it's not like a, a, every bit helps. Every bit helps. Yeah. Oh, meanwhile, and just you're, you're... look at Ned. Ned is still hiding here. For the past, for the past few minutes, he's been in this spot a few times. He's revisited, revisited his camping spot, and observers outside the lane. Yeah, he's... he's just waiting. <laughs> very, very pesky, this Ned. He's going for a scepter. Alrighty. Well, we'll see. We'll see some of those AOE fingers. Maybe let's let's see if it happens this game, Winter. We'll see if we get proven <laughs> wrong. <laughs> He got a two-man impel the last fight, so it, it would have been a two-man finger if yeah. he had the scepter. Roshan gonna oh, respawn now. They, they spot them. They spot them with the. They spot with the ward here. Oh dear. Are they gonna go in though? There's uh what, three, three versus, four heroes. Three versus four. Yeah. Looks like for now, sniper and sniper's missing. That's the big thing here. Sniper's one of their main sources of damage output. Alrighty. It's us versus the Twitch chat winner. Hopefully, hopefully we win our, our wager on the uh, Agony Scepter Lion. I'm actually going to. I'm actually quite surprised that he wants to build uh, MKB on the sniper. Nobody hmm. has evasion, and you don't really need MKB. Yeah. Just I I don't know in total too if he actually overrides the headshot if both of them proc together. I'm not because sure how they work if they stack in, or not. In, in Dota 1, it actually doesn't stack. It, if it, both of them procs together, it actually okay. overrides. And your headshot deals... Uh, the, the damage is actually more, I think. 90... Yeah. Actually, how much is the MKB bonus damage? Crap. I don't know the exact figure. Um, oh, 100. Uh, so MKB is more damage. But the oh stun wow. is the stun duration is less than headshot. So which one overrides which in Dota 1? Uh, the MKB overrides the headshot in Dota okay. 1. So it's less stun, but more, 10 more damage, which is like nothing. Yeah, less stun and more damage. And it actually used to be more damage as well, because MKB wasn't 100 last time. It was less than this. Okay. Okay. That's why I remember being it. Remember that getting MKB on Sniper in Dota 1 was actually pretty bad, unless you really have to go for it. Gotcha. Well, for now, both teams poised around the Roshan pit. I didn't know it's back up. They've got the Ursa uh, sitting in there waiting, watching. Seeing what's going on and <laughs> Net, he's taking he's HY, HY's advice. He's he's staying in the trees. <laughs> you stay in the trees, Net. And he, Net's a good he listener. Have, uh, he should have Net as his teammate. Yeah, he's a, have he's they a ever teamed together? They would make good teammates. <laughs> he's he's always hiding in the trees. Not only like a lion, especially his Sand King, dude. His yeah. Sand King. So you just want a big beast master for his Sand King. Oh, Yamate still. What's Yamate picked up here with the ultimate orb? Hex. Okay, completed Hex at that. So 32 minutes in. Decent farm from him. Ned <laughs> still blinking around up here. Yeah, he's just a boss. He's he's lucky this isn't a pub game or he would have been uh, received and abandoned by now. <laughs> he's not getting any experience for 5 plus minutes. <laughs> I love that both teams are just like leaving their little minions in the Roshan pit. You've got a Ford Spirit there, you've got an Alpha a uh, Lycan Wolf, you've got a, a Satyr Mind Steel. It's like the little petting zoo. But no you, heroes you come. Just you the... don't see the wolf and you think you're alone. Oh, they see it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the, the Satyr Mind Stealer. Let's, come on guys, play nice. Everyone can just sit around the Roshan pit, be friendly with one another. You don't have to fight over it. Come on, Lycan, go to the top, rat. He just oh. needs to go top, force the TP back, and they can get the Roshan. <laughs> this guy, this guy, he's he's still here. Would, would you award him by being the most? There's no more patience from so patience from Net. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> patience from Net. This is true patience. He's waiting long and hard for this one. Have Have you ever seen anyone that waited so long? I. Or any, or anyone that has speak. Taken the most runes. I think you need to get He's a step left. Up. He's finally left. His patient war patience wore off. Maybe it was like Yamate is like, I'm not pushing this lane anymore, dude, for you. <laughs> <laughs> See you. Well, where where is it? Now he's gonna hide in the bottom trees. Like let's let's go down to these trees over here. Like, <laughs> change of spot, you know. Yeah. Mix change of up. uh change of. Or does he go <laughs> back to the Roshan pit? He's hiding the trees near Roshan. 
Like that's that's the other trees you can hide in. Man, just look at he's always near trees. Yep. <laughs> this is the per perfect H Y H Y teammate. Yeah, seriously. He has not showed himself on the map in probably ten minutes time. Yeah, I'm, once sure, I'm, I'm sure it's even uh, around that figure. You're pretty accurate on that ten minutes. Maybe even more though. Just look at him. Should name him Tree Man. Once again, both teams constantly scouting out the Roshan pit. Oh boy. What? Bit of a stalemate here, but this is still very entertaining, I gotta say. It's, we're probably just making entertainment out of nothing right now, but... Uh, looks like Titan may be the ones going to the Roshan pit. KYXY nearby. He's also almost got an Assault Crass. Uh, just about 500 gold away. So, things looking pretty good still for Titan. Yeah, they're definitely still in much of control of the game, but I feel... But they are a bit very safe right now. They have a huge advantage. Probably because of the last fight, how the last fight went. They lost they lost it by quite a lot and they were feeling that maybe they weren't in a, such a huge lead they thought they were. But it, it was actually just the BKB because of the BKB in the base. Oh, top lane. Is Sniper gonna finally get caught out here? I think Quap can actually burst him. Oh, Muscle Menace! Muscle Menace! Hey, oh, go, go on, this? come on. TP go, out. Go. Hex. Okay. What? What? He could just blow him <laughs> up. That's a level three Sonic wave. I think he could have just instantly killed him with the, yeah. with the combo. As soon as he mask a man, as you blink, Hex, Orchid, yeah. everything. Just throw every he spell. Stayed. He stayed after that uh, Mass of Menace. Yeah. And he would have taken like <laughs> 700, 800 damage instantly. Well, okay, net. Over. Ned's staying. He's... Net in the trees, he's gonna see Timbersaw. Timbersaw is a tree killer. He's <laughs> worst enemy. <laughs> he's still he's still here. Oh he's oh he's gonna leave. You, you he knows to Roshan's him, maybe happening. You need to give him a, a BTS moment. The longest <laughs> time spent in trees. Net stays in the trees. <laughs> BTS moment of nothing happening. <laughs> what a player. <laughs> <laughs> well, Roshan now, this is possibly our first fight in like 20 minutes time. Oh, he's popped the Mask of Madness, that'll give a bit of extra bonus damage here. Oh, this is not good for uh, Aranda, they've helped Titan possibly take out this Roshan. Are they going to engage? It looks like they're not going to do so. They're going to give this up, Titan will get Roshan. I feel like Titan were bound to get that Roshan anyway, but Aranda just kind of used the Serve Mod to help him out a little bit. And now they don't have the wards to defend. Yeah, eh. I don't know, Titan, yeah, I guess they do go high ground, like, they've got everything they could hope for. <laughs> they just still in the trees! <laughs> they do not have necro books, though. Oh, 50 seconds, yeah, but... Oh, well. Oh, boy. This is like instinct for Net, just hide in fog in trees. Now, now you know why he's always getting the best epicenters. You yeah. never see that guy. Well, Miranda with a disconnection, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. But, I, I I know some of, I already know some of his favorite spots here. This is one of his favorite spots here, in middle lane. Oh yeah, Un the above the tier one tower. Yeah, the tree there, and then here his favorite spot here is here this spot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, this one uh, the one of the few spots that he's always hiding in. The Chinese stream's doing the same thing. <laughs> There's, the Chinese stream is like showing net in like showcase mode as well. I'm pretty sure they're enjoying this as much as we are. <laughs> I, I looked up to my, my copy of the Chinese stream and they were just showcasing mode with Net, like zoomed in on him, and I'm like, okay, let's let's watch Net some more. <laughs> they need to come up with a statistic. Yeah. The time spent, spent in trees. <laughs> Ratio of tree time to non tree time, and Net would have, uh, he'd take the cake there. Huh. I need to ask him if he likes to play Tree and Projector with Nature's Guys. That would be perfect. Yeah, but you don't have like an initiate. I mean, you can blink ulti, but that's like he has no damage output. Sanking and lying can kill people. That's always been net net's thing. He wants to be able to kill people on his own. He doesn't want to have to rely on teammates. They're showing net here. They're, <laughs> they're definitely <laughs> talking about net. I tell you that. Well, this is this has been. <laughs> I don't know what's uh -huh. happened the last fifteen minutes, but I feel like nothing has happened. Look, there has not been a kill since the twenty-eight minute mark. Yeah, it was after the fight where Titan dove and they lost three heroes. After that, they were like, okay guys, we are not going to throw this game. You yeah. need to take it slow. 
We are not as far as uh, ahead as we thought we were. No, uh, with an Aegis, I there's no more items really coming their way. I guess. What's on the career right now? There's a gem they, coming out. Boots of Travel really for KYXY. They don't really need anything else though. Yeah. Seriously. Elder Titan's like Shiva's Guard is maybe in like 1500 gold. Queen of Pain maybe has a BKB in 800, which I guess may, the BKB for Queen of may, Pain could may, be nice. May, maybe the one thing they're waiting for is the Axe Scepter. Maybe. For the Lion? Yeah, just maybe. <laughs> I don't think, if they were waiting for that, Lion would be not hiding in the trees, but he'd be going out and farming. No, he wants to kill heroes to get the money, not the okay. creeps. It goes That's against fine. it goes against his, his ways, his philosophy. He's only got 16 creep kills, which is probably the lowest in the game. But yeah, he has, he's lowest Does he have the, the most hero kills? No, Corp has the most hero kills. That's but bizarre. It was, it was because Nat gave him that kill. Yeah, Yamate was just KSing. I, I saw it. <laughs> as, as witnessed, Yamate was KSing. Yeah, you wouldn't do that after all the support I've done for you in the earlier game. Yeah. You would have given the kill to the support, right? Yamate, yeah. What, what's he done this game? He's just he's just been running around feeding. Come on, Yamate. But yeah, uh, uh, with Aegis here, I think they try push high ground, but they probably have. They'll probably just go though. They don't need to wait for anything already. No. And the tower, <laughs> tower is like half health. Shaman doesn't have wards right now. They're is for buybacks, which is kind of annoying. Like uh, buyback is something that you can't avoid. You have to deal with it. Yeah, like if you have to go, and then at least even if you don't get Raxus now, make him use two, three, four buybacks because it just it costs them so much gold to actually take the fight if they have to use that many buybacks. Yeah, it's very, especially after the change where you don't get gold, and then your next death becomes so long. <laughs> It's just so much of a investment if you buy back and you don't accomplish anything. You're yeah. basically screwing up yourself so much over. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I actually like the new buyback more than the old buyback, at least. Okay. It's much more... It's The old buyback was really abusable. But mm. if, like even in the older times where there's no cooldown on buyback, that was even worse. Oh, that was... That was Terrible. That, that was the time where you would have 20k or 10k go on one hero and you wouldn't say like, why are you farming 20k? Yeah, you know what? <laughs> we'll get ourselves back into the game now. It's time. Action heating up. Where's Ned at? Which trees are he hiding in now? That's. I feel like we're watching a soap opera more than a Dota game. It's like, yeah. what trees will Ned next you hide in? You have to create the sequel where Ned hides in the trees, episode 1. Yeah. Ned hides in the tree, episode 2. Adventures of a tree lover. <laughs> Featuring Mr. Net. Well, he's found a new new set of trees here. <laughs> Gonna hide from some Ford Spirits here. Today I hid in some trees to hide from some Ford Spirits. Entry 1, Net's Diary. Yeah, he was actually uh, trained by someone that made him have this habit last time. Okay. Your what? friend. My friend? Your friend, yeah, your friend taught him well. Which friend's that? Chuan? No. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not sure who Look at him, he's back into the trees. Yeah, he's back. <laughs> he, That's he back, boys. Ran. He just ran from me. Episode <laughs> 2. I made a journey across a dangerous terrain until I oh found safety. God. Safety in the trees. He's looking for the sniper. You can do it, Ned. Oh, then he sees the sniper at bottom and he's gonna buy a TP and he's gonna run all the way back to bottom now. <laughs> the great. The great journey continues. <laughs> oh my god. This... this player... <laughs> I'm traveling a dark, dark river. Up some stairs. Blinking around. <laughs> Where the to? Most, the most map coverage ever by a single player. Yeah. He's gotta get those... Get, gotta get those Ks in. You, have to, you need those stats. Oh, look at Boots of Travel Top. Oh, they've had enough of this. Oh wow, KYXY said the fun ends now. <laughs> oh, he's, he's gonna be pushed back though. That's that's the end of that. What's Ned up to now? Which trees are he hiding? What what trees is he hiding in? <laughs> no, you should you should ask which tree has he not hide in yet. I he's been all over the place, man. He's oh finally, he's Woo! touching creeps. He's just like doubled his creep score now. Oh, Ned, I don't know about this. This is he's risky play. He's getting closer to his acceptor. That's what you want to see. He got four creeps. 
Big, big plays coming out from Nat. Some impressive last hitting. It's gonna devot. Oh my god. Finally, Ooh. he blinks into a place where there's no trees. There's no trees. He's on a cliff. Force. Oh. That was a scary moment. Nat taking some big damage from a Sunstrike. <laughs> Once again, I'm comment fine. commending you for trying hard. You can do it, Nat. <laughs> oh. What, what a game, <laughs> or or lack of a game. <laughs> I feel like the last fifteen minutes has not been a Dota game. I don't know what what we've been watching, but at least at least what I've been watching has not been a Dota game. <laughs> You're watching someone running a marathon. <laughs> yeah, he's got. Okay, finally the push bottom lane. Lycan going to TP top with the wolves again. Puts up travel top. Look at Lycan end the game. Yeah, he's got the wolves out there position. Let's get the creeps on the high ground at, at bottom though. Waiting for his necro book. And Nets gonna be behind him, so whoever actually goes to 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 deal with the lichen may meet the one and only, the net. He, he drops the gem even, just to be he's safe. Gonna hide, I like this. He's gonna hide the gem. He knows he's gonna dive in deep for the kill. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna feed boys. Let's leave the gem behind. Here goes the lichen under the top lane. There's uh, no glyph this time. Where's the TP in? Here comes Invoker. Net. Time to shine. Time to shine, Net. Let's get in there. He's not going, he's not going, the Raxes will go down, Net don't even need it. He's near <laughs> trees, he's near trees. Stay in those trees, Net. He's got new trees, he can use the trees above this top tier 3 tower. Not gonna get the kill here on the Rubik, Rubik taking a lot of damage, finger of death! There we go, Net. Gets the kill, the first kill in like 15 minutes. And of course, it goes to Net. Who else would get it other than Net? And Net has 3,000 gold, boys. Alrighty, that's Ag Scepter. <laughs> We're online. Come on, the career is going back to base. You need to buy three items. Yeah. yeah. Oh, go. oh, what is he getting? No. Sniper oh gets God. a Daedalus. <laughs> this, you, this sniper can still still carry this game. I, I don't know if Titan, Titan have almost let this sniper farm too much, it feels like. Yeah, they were overcautious, I feel. They're gonna get up for Raxus potentially though. If bottom lane goes wow. down, they are in a good position here. Nets come in again, looking for oh, no finger of death, but he'll get the kill regardless. Nets the playmaker this game. Yeah, he is. It's the net show. <laughs> this is the net show, dude. Dyer's bottom oh, um, okay, well, XY, not so much. Not so much of the show, he's gonna lose his Aegis top. Oh, in comes Net, he gets the hex off on the real sniper, followed up by an impale. Net needs to be careful, four stuff away. And this sniper! Oh, look at this sniper! <laughs> oh, he finds oh, Net in the trees! Net goes down in the trees! How do you find him in the trees? Poor, poor Net. Diary entry number three. Today I hid in the trees. I still got killed by a sniper. <laughs> it was a sad, sad day. Today I died to a to a timber saw in the trees. That would make more sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did he buy the Ag Scepter? No, he's got money for it still. <laughs> He's not buying it, so... He should get a Yules. Get that Yules, man. I don't know. Oh, he's, gonna get, he's gonna get X after. Why else? It's all about him getting kills. 20 I seconds guess. done. He's, is he level 16 yet? No. no, it's 15. He's close. Yeah, that's because of all the hiding in the trees, dude. <laughs> too much. Well, you leech experience from the trees if you're near the creep ways. There's, there's some strategy to it. Like it, like it picks up a heart. Elder Titan gets the shivers, guy. This game is somehow 44 minutes in, and honestly, I think dragging this game is not. I mean, it's dragged to a point where they safely got Raxes, but I don't think Sniper cares about being down three Raxes. Uh, he's, he's very probably he, he would prefer not to have so many Raxes down. You no, know, I I disagree, Winder. He would, he'd like to be six Raxes down right now. He likes to challenge this guy. You're talking like he's a Medusa. No. Well, if he gets me on here, he could be okay. Ned goes Yules! He doesn't even no. go for the Ag Scepter. No! Right. Disappointment. We've... Don't worry, we've won our wager against the Twitch chat. We said Aghanim Scepter not good. Ned agrees with us, so we've converted another person. No more Aghanim Scepter on, on Lion. <laughs> Use Scepter to dodge the snipe. Yeah. Yeah, he got into the trees. He needed the Yule Scepter so he could then, like, blink out. Just to, like, buy himself some time to blink. Uh, it's, actually, it's actually a perfect item for Ned. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Let's, let's keep our eyes on Mr. Net once again. What's he up to? He needs to did, I tell, did I tell you about his story? 
before. His story? I don't think so. I mean, that net story about him getting... He used to have uh, like uh, Af Afro hair, hairstyle, and there was one time there was a rat sleeping in his hair. A rat? And he, yeah, he woke up literally to a rat sleeping in his <gasps> hair. <laughs> that would scare the shit out of me. <laughs> and he I... like, the same day he like washed his hair like 10 times and we were late for a tournament because of that. <laughs> and then he cut it all off? No, he didn't cut it all off. <laughs> he was in love with his hair. Oh my god. He's got fairly short hair now. Not like that short, but... Ah, yeah. uh, look at the timber saw. Getting the trees down. No more hiding that. No more hiding net, but they're going to find another hero. It's going to be ZYF. That's a dead sniper. Timbersaw couldn't do anything about it. And Timbersaw's going to pay for this with his life. He's got uh, no way out of this one. That's a Scotty up on your... Uh, you Queen of Pain suddenly has BKB plus Scotty. Meanwhile, mid lane, it looks like Lycan's broken onto the high ground. Come on, net. Let's get in there. He's nearby. He's ready to go. He's going to maybe go on Lee. Dyer's so top barracks are under attack. Well, top racks is actually going to be the ones going down. So top range rack goes down. Bottom rack in some trouble. He prefers the trees again. Yeah, why not? He's found some. New spot here. You stay, Nat. You stay. Don't you dare move. Do, 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 do you think he's like the most disciplined player ever? Sticking to his strat. He sure as hell looks like it right now. He's got himself a level 16 now, so he's got the max finger of death. And, uh, well, Roshan will go down. Roshan and has Aegis. fallen to the Radiant. Surely, okay, this surely this is enough for Titan to, to end they, the they game. Ha they had to give the Aegis to Net. Why not? I, I oh. don't know. There, Net, Net, once again getting denied from his team. What, what's truly deserving of his? First the kills which Yamate was stealing. Now Aegis. Next thing you know, uh, I don't know. Uh, they the see him now. See, he, he's in the wrong trees now. <laughs> There's not enough trees, they need more trees! <laughs> Ned's like, I can't go high ground, there's no trees there waiting for me. He does get the stun off on Lee. Lee gonna be brought down here. He uses the finger of death for good measure. That was a dead Rubik, however you look at it. And it's a monster kill streak going the way of Queen of Pain. It's all over. It's been all over for some time. GG is finally called. There was this huge gap in the middle where there was like no kills for 20 minutes, but uh, the game finally ends with that. It was, you know what I would call that? It was the net moment, the net 20 minutes. <laughs> it went by really fast, like, it, it didn't seem that boring, so... We were always in the trees, that's yeah. why. Net was in I the told, trees, we I, were I in the trees. I told you to stay in the trees, legit. Yeah. <laughs> you can see Net there in the middle of his team, and, uh... Titan, they take game one, this is a best of two, though, so they've got, they've got one game left. Shadow Shaman ended the game, level nine. Oh boy. That's not good. Yeah, that sucks for him. <laughs> Too bad. He had a rough time. That, that's true. But guys, that does it for game one. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I'm Gods. Joining me was Winter. We're going to have a quick break. When we come back, game two of Titan versus Orenda will be live. So stay tuned for more Dota 2 action from Beyond the Summit for the WPC $250,000 World Esports Classic Tournament. We'll be right back.